Hi there, it's Miss Meg here with Art Feeds for another Art Feeds Mix. And this week we're doing something really exciting because we're pairing with the Fayetteville Public Library for Kids Create, which is part of the 2020 Summer Reading Lineup. Summer signups are available for all ages using Read Square, and we'd love for you to read along with us this summer. Make sure to visit faylib.org backslash calendar for the full list of summer programs or like the library on Facebook for new summer content every day. Today, we are gonna create a project using one of our favorite books. The book is What Do You Do With an Idea by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by May Beesom. But before we get to that, I wanna go over the Art Feeds rules. So when we're in Art Feeds or when we're doing an Art Feeds Mates project, we have three rules that we try to focus on. The first rule is to be kind and be creative. The second rule is to never say, I can't. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. So instead we wanna say, I can, or I will try, or will you help me instead of I can't. And number three is there are no wrong answers. My project might look different from your project and that is just fine because we're both bringing our creativity and our imagination into the world. Now, you see these in front of us. These are idea containers and you might think those look a little bit funny but they're actually really special and have to do with the book we're gonna read. So let's get our listening ears on and let's get started. What do you do with an idea? By Kobe Yamada and illustrated by May Beesom. One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here, I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't even belong to me. But it followed me. See that idea following him around? I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. But there was something magical about my idea, I had to admit. I felt better and happier when my idea was around. It wanted food, it wanted to play, Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. See, real close friends up there. I showed it to other people even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave the idea my attention. My idea grew and it grew and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Wow, look at all that. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then often to think bigger. I shared its secrets. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because 
it said, it's good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. So these here are looking a little more familiar, right? The idea, as it's illustrated or drawn in this book, looks kind of like an egg with a crown on it. I just love that story because have you ever had an idea to do something and maybe you thought it was silly or too big of an idea and then it just never went away? So in this book, we're really encouraged to follow our ideas no matter how big, no matter how imaginative. So what these are going to be that we'll create together today are idea containers. But before we get started, we need to brainstorm some of our ideas. On the Art Feeds blog, you can find this sheet that says Big Ideas. And we'll use that sheet to first brainstorm our big ideas and then we will create these containers where we can keep our big ideas safe because sometimes you might have an idea that you can do right now and sometimes you'll have an idea that you just want to think on and encourage it and let it grow and that's what we're gonna do today is create a container for it so that you can keep your big ideas for now or for later. So let's start brainstorming together with our sheet. Now, if you don't have this sheet or you can't print it from artfeeds.org on the blog, that's okay. We can just do it on a plain sheet of paper. Okay, so here are my big ideas. Uh, to make up a dance to my favorite song, invent a new flavor of cookie, build, put a three-story slide inside a children's hospital so you can slide down, uh, build the world's biggest trampoline, or invent something that turns rain into food like pizza. So these ideas are really different, right? I could make up a dance pretty easily, like right now if I wanted to, but the big, big ideas like building the world's biggest trampoline, it might take some time and some help. So that is what our idea container is for. We don't think any idea is too silly or too big to consider, but we have our idea container so we can keep things safe in there for when the time is right to explore our idea. So let's get started on making our idea container. I have a couple of different options here. Now, you can see that this one is made with paper and a tin can. So if you have a tin can at your house, maybe in the recycling and some paper, this would be pretty easy to do. You also need some scissors and glue. And then this one is a little bit different because we make what we call salt dough clay. Now that's made with flour and salt and water that you mix together. And you'll also have to have a grown up help you with the oven. So if you don't have these things, no problem at all. You can just use this. And if you don't have a tin can, that's okay. We love innovation at our feet. So if you don't have a tin can, if you have some other kind of container, maybe a box, something else with a lid. It could even be something like a paper bag. Um, we trust that you guys will be really creative. If you don't have these things, you can still make an idea container. There's no wrong answers here. So your idea container might look different than mine or what we create here. But as long as you have an idea container for your amazing ideas, then we're doing the project right.
Look at all our idea containers. They turned out awesome. So see how all of these look a little bit different? And I wanted to show you this one because this one doesn't look like these other ones that we painted, but I still think it's kind of awesome the way that it turned out. It looks like a real idea egg. So just to show you that all of these might look a little bit different, and that's actually great because all our ideas are really different. So what we get to do is take our idea sheet or if you had a piece of paper that you just wrote your ideas down on, that is perfectly fine. And you can cut them. Also, if you don't have scissors, you can just fold it and rip it too. You can do the same thing with the crown, but see, I can just fold it and you can keep folding, fold back and forth and back and forth. And then you can rip it and that works just fine as well. So have no fear, there's always a way to do the project. Then we will take our idea and fold it up and keep it safe in our idea jar. We've got our paper one that looks really cool. We've got this one as well. The reason I also liked this is because it's not so perfect and our ideas aren't going to be perfect. Oftentimes when you have a big idea and you're trying to do it, something that happens is you might try to do it and then you might fail at it. And we don't think at Art Feeds that failing is a bad thing. We actually think that failing means that you're trying new things and the more you fail, the more you're learning. So even though this looks different, this helped me understand that we can't put the salt dough clay on too thick when we put it on thinner, it looks like this, but it still turned out kind of cool. Now, if you want to be a part of more of the summer reading program, you can go to faylib.org and you can look at the calendar or sign up for the newsletter there. And with Art Feeds, if you wanna keep an eye out for more Art Feeds makes, we would also love to see what you create. So if you can have a grown up take a picture or a video and tag hashtag Art Feeds makes, then we can see everything that you've been up to. And we can't wait to see what your, your idea container ended up looking like. We'll see you next time.